Hi, this is Darren Lithgow. I'm the author of The Next Generation of Genealogy Site Building, or TNG. Today I'll be installing the version 14 upgrade on top of a version 13 site. So here we go. Uh, after you purchase the upgrade, you should get an email that includes the URL and the login for the version 14 downloads page. Once you uh, go to that address and enter the credentials. This is what you should see. This is the version 14 downloads page. At the top is the full version section. It includes you know, the file that uh, you'd want to download if you were starting from scratch. That is not an update. But uh, since you are upgrading right now, this is not what you want. Do not install the full version on top of your existing site. If you do, you will lose your data and your customizations. So. Please don't do that. Instead, skip down to the TNG updates section, and you're going to look for the upgrade that uh, best matches your currently installed version of TNG. So if you had, say, 12.1 or 12.2, you'd want this upgrade that's for users with 12.x. I'm going to be upgrading uh, a 13, version 13 site, so I'm going to choose this one. Uh, now, if I had 13.1.2 specifically, I could choose that if I want to, but most of you, I assume, will be uh, from here. So this is probably the most useful one. I'm going to click on that to start my download. And uh, while that's happening, I'm going to read the instructions off to the side. It says uh, the installation instructions are in the file readme uh, 13x-14x, so 13 to 14.html. This is for users who have 13.0 or higher. Okay, so after the file downloads, it's going to be in a zip file, so I need to extract it with a WinZip or a similar program. Or in most cases, you can just double click on that zip file and it will extract it for you, whether you have Windows or Mac. It'll extract it for you into a new folder uh, with the same name as the zip file. Okay, so uh, here I've, I can show you what the file looks like. Here it is in my downloads folder. If I needed to extract it, I would just double click on it to do that. I've already done that and I put the files, let's see in here, it's a folder called from 13x. Okay, so here is where I want to look for that file called readme 13x to 14x. There it is. Notice right above it, there's another file called readme.html. Those are the installation instructions for the full version. If you accidentally start that, you should see a warning at the top of the page saying, don't do this if you are upgrading because you'll lose everything. So uh, fair warning, if you see anything like that, don't uh, ignore it. Okay, this is the file that you want. So I'm gonna double click that, open the instructions in my browser. Okay, and they're all, all the instructions have been collapsed to kind of clean up the page. You can expand any one of them to read more about it by clicking on the show instructions. So the very first one is backing up. You want to make sure you have backups of your settings and custom files just in case uh, something doesn't go as planned. Now if you've done this recently, you probably don't need to do it again. Uh, it's just a, a good reminder that uh, uh, keep a backup as recent as you can. Now. Um, if you um, have never altered your um, home page or your header or footer, those files aren't as important. You don't need to back those up. And down the bottom, you'll notice it also talks about the database tables. This is an important thing to back up. Let's go to the site that I'm going to to uh, um, um, back up and show you how to do that. Okay, here's the site. Let's go to the admin section. Okay, over here, down the bottom right, in your utilities, here are all my tables. As you see, I don't have, have any backups, so it's a good thing I'm doing them. I'm just gonna select all the tables, and with that, I'm going to back them up. Click go. All right, now you can see I have backups for all of my tables. So 
Back to the instructions, and uh, now that I've got those backups, I want to download them to my computer for safekeeping. Those and perhaps these uh, settings files as well, anything else that I want to back up. So to do that, I'm going to need my FTP program. Uh, I like FileZilla because it's a good free one. If you don't have it, you can just Google FileZilla, download that. You can get it for either Windows or Mac. Um, you can also use the file manager on your cPanel or control panel. Uh, the advantage uh, that an FTP program has is that you can upload or download many files at once. So, uh, less tedious to do that way. I'm going to open the FileZilla program. Uh, by, the, by now you probably know what you need to connect is the host name, username, and password. You can get that from your hosting provider. You can enter that here and just do a quick connect. Or if you open this uh, site manager, the upper left, you can uh, make that a little more permanent. Click New Site and then enter your information if you haven't done so already. You'll need the host name, the username, the password, perhaps the encryption and protocol. Again, your provider can give you that. When you've got it all in, hit Connect. Okay, now I've got my website files on the right and my home computer files on the left. So on the right, let's find where my website is, the, the uh, installation I'm upgrading. It's going to be in the public HTML folder. And there I know it's in the tutorial folder. So here's the version or the installation I'm upgrading right now. Over on the right let's find the uh, files I want to upload. So upgrades from 13x. There we go. All right, now suppose I wanted to back up my config file. Let's find that. Here it is. Find it on the right and over on the left. I might want to create a new folder for those files I'm backing up. So let's right click, create a directory. I'll call it backups. Okay, there we go, backups. And then I can just drag and drop from the right over to the left to back up any file I want to back up. I can also go into my backups folder. And here are all the table backups that I just made. See, same date. Again, I can um, command click, shift click, uh, get as many of those as I want and drag, drop them over to the left to back them up. Okay, table's backed up and config files backed up. I can go back to the instructions. Okay, number two says install uninstall all your mods. A mod is an enhancement or an add-on created by uh, another developer to add functionality or change something about TNG. Uh, if you've never installed anything like that or don't know what I'm talking about, you can skip this step completely. But if you're into mods or installed any of those, it's a good idea to uninstall them before uh, continuing the upgrade. Because if you, if you upgrade with the mods installed, you might uh, find yourself in a strange state. Some of the changes at the end. So a good idea to remove them first. Then when you're done, you can go install them again. And at that point, you may find that some of them have been changed or can no longer be installed. If you get to that stage, go back to the TNG wiki to this page, Mods for TNG 14, and look for an update for those mods. Okay. Okay, next is to upload the files and folders for the upgrade. Now, in this uh, step, it says upload all the files and folders except the templates folder, which will be covered later. Uh, so let's skip that. If you're upgrading from an earlier version, say 12 or 11, it may also tell you to uh, skip the special folder. So if that's what you're seeing in your upgrade, be sure to pay attention to what to do in that case as well. Okay, I'm going back to my FileZilla. And I'm going to go back to the main folder with the TNG files in it, the version 13 on the right again, and on the left. And I'm just going to do a uh, 
Command or Control A to select everything. I don't want that backups folder though. Uh, and I don't want the templates folder. Everything else I can up, up, upload by dragging it over to the right. So now uh, I've dragged it over and I see a warning. It says the file already exists. When you, say, when you see this, just make sure you say, yes, I can overwrite. Always use this action and then OK. And we're going to skip forward uh, through the magic of editing to the point when all these files have been uploaded. Probably shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. And there you have it. Everything's uploaded. Okay, let's go back to the instructions. All right, next thing to do is to open this readme file from your site. Now, uh, this confuses some people um, because it looks like it's already open, but in fact, what you're looking at here is just a local file on your computer, or on my computer. Uh, what we need to do is to open it from the website. So uh, uh, just go up to your address bar and highlight everything except the file name. Type in your web address. And there you go. All right, now we're looking at the same page, but now as a web page from your website. Okay, that'll ensure that everything else from this point on works or it might not have worked uh, trying to execute it from your own computer. Next step is the templates. Now, if you've never done anything to your template files other than change settings, uh, then you don't need to worry about any of this. Just upload that entire templates folder um, and be done with it. But uh, however, if you have done any customization to any of the actual files involved with the templates, you'll want to um, reconcile the changes in those files with uh, what you had previously and instead of just flat out uploading it. But I'm going to go back to FileZilla, find that templates folder, just drag it over and upload it. And while that's happening, I'm just going to go back to the instructions. Okay, hide those. Next thing, update the database structure. Uh, some of the table names or table uh, column names have changed, so we need to take care of that. Uh, here it says we're going to log into our admin menu to do it though. Uh, this is a change in version 14. Uh, a lot of people were forgetting to do this step. Maybe they just uh, had never even opened the README to begin with, didn't, weren't, weren't aware of this. But now we put it uh, in the admin so you can't miss it. So I'm going to click on admin menu. I'm going to go to my website and to a new page called Upgrade. Now, if you weren't logged in at this point, it would ask you to log in first, but I'm already logged in. Now you just have to follow the instructions here. Uh, read through that and click Submit. Um, that'll open a new tab, and all the database changes will be executed here. Now, if you can run this again if you like. It won't hurt anything. But you might see fewer lines go across at the top just because something's already been done and can't be done again. So when you're done with that, you'll see this message saying it's complete. And then you can close that tab. And finally, be sure to come down here when you're finished and click this to delete the upgrade file and return to the menu. If you don't do this, then every time you come back to your admin menu, you're going to see this again. So go ahead and delete that. Now we're back at our version 14 admin menu. Excellent. We can go look around the home page maybe, make sure everything's okay. Yep, there's our customized title still there. Look at my list of surnames. All the data still seems to be present. So looks like it worked. Let's go back to the instructions. One more thing we have to do is to clear the cache. I put this here because uh, often your you know your browser will hold on to files that's already downloaded to try and save time. If you go to the same web page again, it's just going to show you that file from the cache instead of downloading it a second time. So after doing an upgrade, uh, a lot of the files have changed, 
but your browser cache may be holding on to some of the old versions of those files, and that may cause your site to do strange things, not work very well right after an upgrade. So uh, before you do anything else, it's a good idea to clear your cache. You click there to see some instructions. There's more information in this wiki article. It's different from ev for every browser. I'm using Chrome. Uh, for Chrome, at least, you come up and click under on the Chrome menu. You see an option for clear browsing data. You open that, and you see all the things that you can clear. The only one you want to clear is this one called cached images and files. Especially, don't check this cookies from other site data because that will cause you to lose any saved logins for other sites. Uh, so just make sure this one box is the only thing checked, and then click clear data. Okay, you can close that tab, and you're done. Uh, again, you might want to review these things at the bottom, view all the instructions, clear the cache again if something still looks wrong, uh, go over the steps. If you've missed any, you can repeat them. It won't be any problem. Otherwise, that's all. Thanks for listening. Bye.